Orly Tates is the lawyer, dentist, and real estate agent at the head of the birther movement that questions whether President Obama is a U.S. citizen and wants to see his birth certificate. Orly, thanks for joining me today. Thank you. Uh, by the way, uh, let me correct you. It's not the issue whether he is a U.S. citizen. The issue is whether he is a natural born citizen, which is a requirement to be the president. And You're it's right. much more, and it's much more than just uh, the birth certificate, because regardless of where Obama was born, in Kenya or Hawaii, or even if he were to be born in the White House, the issue is the fact that he was never legitimate as a president because he had multiple citizenships, because he had uh, and still has allegiance to different nations from birth until today, and that's Great Britain, Kenya, and Indonesia. Right. That was important to correct. I, I stand corrected. Let, let's start from the beginning. I want to go first, let's go through your background and how you came to be really a very visible spokesperson at this point for this movement. Um, one question I've been getting from the audience that they really want to know is how long did it take? I mean, lawyer, dentist, and real estate agent. How long <laughs> well, were you uh, in school? <laughs> well, you know, I, I've been a dentist for over 20 years, and I'm one of those people who likes to study. So as I ran my dental practice and I have a family, I'm married, I have three sons, I studied at night uh, and uh, I was able to um, finish law school. I passed California bar. Now, in terms of real estate, I, I, it's not something that I do for a living. Right. It's uh, just um, when my husband and I were selling our old house, my husband said, listen, you study all the time anyways. Might as well just take this real estate broker's exam and we can save on the commission. That's what I did. I just said for the uh, real estate broker's uh, license exam and passed it. And uh, okay. so I was the listing broker for our own house, and that's how it came about. So as far as law school, uh, this has also been a point of some contentious, contention. Uh, I believe you went to William Howard Taft University. Now, that is, yes. that is not accredited by the American Bar Association, well, right? Let, let me explain. I passed the California Bar. I'm, I'm licensed. Uh, I'm a licensed attorney in the state of California. I'm admitted to uh, present clients in the Supreme Court of the United States of America. I did study at night. Uh, I did go what's called night school. I did uh, study on my own. And uh, if anything, it just shows that I have more brains than average Joe because it's not that easy to study independently at night pass the exam, right. go to the California bar, which is considered to be the most difficult bar in the nation, and pass it. I've seen people who went to Harvard and Yale and, and failed. Uh, sure. when, uh, but, when so, I passed. but so we are, so we are correct in saying it, it is not accredited by the American bar, you know, just, just to be clear. It's not, well, it's, I, it is, uh, you know what, I don't know what is the accreditation. They have accreditation for day schools, and then there are schools of different education. Uh, um, extend studies, which I did, uh, and that's the only difference that I didn't go to regular school where you, you know, sit uh, during the day and yeah. take class. Okay, but fair enough. I, uh, but I did pass the California bar, uh, and anybody can go and check. Um, I passed. I, I am licensed in the state of California and been licensed since 2002, and I'm also licensed with American Bar Association. You are welcome to go and check. Um, I'm a licensed uh, with them as well. Uh, I'm a member of American Bar Association. Okay. So, you know, people were trying to discredit me. No, I'm just efforts. trying to get the facts out. That's all. I, yeah, we get sure. a lot of questions. Yeah, no so let's, let's move on to the, the, the topic at hand. So I, re I heard you recently spoke at a teabagger conference. Is that right? Well, that's really disrespectful. Uh, what kind of teabagger conference? Uh, if, you are, if you are referring to the tea party, yes. Um, I have given speeches uh, at a number of Tea Party con conventions. And by the way, uh, Tea Party patriots are very active. These people are concerned about this country, and they actually were credited with major shift uh, in politics as of late. Uh, you've seen how typically blue states like uh, Virginia, New Jersey, and Massachusetts switched from Democratic Party to Republican Party, hmm. and I'm sure you've seen reports that it's largely because of the support 
from the Tea Party movement. And I'm sure you've heard that I'm considering uh, running for the uh, position of Secretary of State of California, specifically because of the massive fraud that was seen in elections. I've heard rumors, but I was, yeah, it was hard to believe. As a matter of fact, uh, uh, just before I started this interview, I was in the bank because uh, I needed to open a separate uh, account for the campaign and, you know, so that uh, I can deposit money in the account. I will pay the fee and I will put my name on the ballot. There are a lot of people that are urging me to run because... No, uh, I follow. I understand. I I just, I was just setting that my, my real question to you is... Politically, you also don't agree with with Barack Obama, right? So it's not so much it, it's it, there is the birther question, but you also politically consider yourself more in line with the Tea Party. Well, you know, uh, by the way, uh, that's another misconception because uh, tea, uh, a lot of people believe uh, that a Tea Party movement is um, this is one political party, and as you've seen, actually, uh, people that. Uh, participate in Tea Party movements, Tea Party conventions, belong to different political parties. Um, but I'm asking, uh, no, I understand, Orly, but I'm asking you, politically, you would consider yourself conservative, liberal, or how? Well, I, I am conservative. Okay. I, I, I clearly, I'm more than, I listen, 99.9% of the population of this nation are more conservative than Barack Obama. Right. This one is straight to, to communism. No, so, yeah, it's crazy. Uh, and and, and, it's and a lot of people originally, uh, you know, when he came with those slogans, hope and change, did know that there isn't much hope for any change, uh, not a, at least not any change for the better. But now people are seeing that uh, basically... His political philosophy is the philosophy of uh, big government, government takeover of most of the industries. Uh, we've seen takeover in uh, banking, in automotive, and now he's trying the takeover of the healthcare. And uh, uh, and you've seen the polls, um, uh, large, I mean, majority of population of this country do not believe that that's the way to go. And that's so if, why I, if I understand correctly... That, If I understand correctly, and I I really want to get into the meat of the birth certificate and everything, if I understand correctly, you disagree with a majority of Barack Obama's policies as president, but you also say he was born in Kenya, and because of that, he shouldn't be president anyway, right? So it's two-sided. Uh, well, uh, let me let me explain something. Uh, for example, I'm more conservative than Hillary Clinton. Right. Uh, however, I would have never filed any lawsuits challenging Hillary Clinton simply, uh, even though I disagree with her on a number of issues, simply because uh, she is legitimate for uh, U.S. presidency. Right. And I, I never filed any lawsuits against anybody else because, as far as I know, all the other candidates has been legitimate. It is irrelevant whether he was born in Kenya or not, and that's what people don't understand. Uh, there is no need to prove uh, that he was born in Kenya or anywhere else. Right. The most important issue is the fact that since birth he had foreign citizenship. Um, you know, uh, it was uh, said at the inauguration that his father was an immigrant. The point is his father was never, Im- the, was never an immigrant in this country. His father was here on a student visa right. and uh, uh, was never a U.S. citizen, uh, not even uh, a resident. Uh, and therefore, at the time Barack Obama was born, he had British citizenship under the British Nationality Act of 1948. And does he have a British, a British birth certificate? I don't know if he... It, it is relevant. Ah, okay. the, the whole point is because his father was a British citizen, he did not qualify. And let me bring one more example just to show that I am consistent. It, it is an important issue. Uh, for example, Bobby Jandel is considered to be one of the leading Republican candidates in the next presidential election. Well, maybe. And, and I was very outspoken time and again, stating that he cannot be a presidential candidate for the same reason that Obama cannot be uh, uh, the president, specifically because when Bobby Jindal was born, his father, just like Obama's father, was here on a student visa, not from Kenya, but from India, regardless. Hmm. And uh, therefore, at birth, Bobby Jindal had citizenship and allegiance to India, whether he uh, actually obtained um, any documents 
from India or not, it's irrelevant. It is irrelevant. Uh, You're right. Um, he, and that's and, and I'm saying, uh, it, you know, it's it's not the matter of politics. I'm. Uh, it is a constitutional issue. Well, I'm glad that this is not a political thing because that's when we get we get mixed up. I have five questions here, and if if we, I know it's tough, but if we can get yes or yes or no's from you. It okay. would be great. Do you believe okay. Barack Obama was raised in radical Islam? Well, I believe that, um, well, it's, uh, regardless of what I believe... Well, I'm curious, fact, but that's my question. Uh, uh, what do you believe? Good. Well, uh, I mean, th let me, I'm not going to talk about my beliefs. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to talk about the facts that we all know. When he, uh, <laughs> his, uh, his biological father is uh, a Muslim, and uh, judging by some of his writings, uh, um, he um, really uh, continued uh, on the path of radical Islam. Okay. He, uh, Barack Obama himself uh, went to school in Indonesia, and his school certificate shows him uh, um, as Muslim, and where it states um, religion, it states Islam. We know that in 1981, he traveled to Pakistan, which was under the rule of General Zia ul Haq. It, uh, the country was under very strict, uh, radical Muslim rule. Uh, so those are the facts. I follow. And, so, uh, uh, I, 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 again, there's just five of these. Let me just see if we can run through a couple more. And again, okay. the closer we can get to just yes or no is going to be, sure. is going to be ideal. Okay. Do you believe Barack Obama's first act as president was to donate money to Hamas? It was one of the executive orders okay. uh, uh, where he donated $900 million to Hamas, while at the same time he cut $500 million from U.S. Uh, Army veterans. So he, okay, $900 million to Hamas. Do you think that Barack Obama has dozens of social security numbers? Again, uh, it's not what I think. What I think it's absolutely irrelevant. Well, it's not. I mean, I, Orly, hold on uh, a second. Okay, uh, I'm interested okay. in, I'm personally very, I happen to think he doesn't have dozens. I want to know what you think. It's relevant okay. to me and it's relevant okay. to our audience. Sure, sure. And uh, again, as an attorney, I can only talk about the facts and evidence that I possess. Well, talk what to I, us as a dentist uh, then, okay, maybe. Okay, I don't okay. know. Okay. So the, the facts, the, the evidence that I possess, uh, that, that I have obtained, those are affidavits from licensed investigators, and according to affidavit uh, uh, by the licensed uh, investigator, Neil Stanke, as well as affidavit from other investigators, for example, Susan Daniels, uh, Barack Obama, according to national databases such as ChoicePoint, LexisNexis, Locator, used multiple social security numbers, Got it. none of which were issued in the state of Hawaii. Okay. Moreover, the number that he is using currently, and you can actually verify that, 04268-4425 is the number that was issued in Connecticut. That's the number that he used most of his life. Uh, originally was issued to an individual born in 1890. And okay. as we know, of course, Obama was not born in 1890. No, certainly never not. Never resided in Connecticut. I've so got it. So, I'm you're, saying, Orly, I, I'm trying to get through. There's just so much to cover. I, your answer to that yeah. one is, is yes, I, I think, if I hear correctly. Well, I, you know, this is the evidence that I have. I and follow. And the court you it and, and make a decision it's whether it uh, should be an action in regards to that. Do you believe that Barack Obama has made threats on your life? Uh, I no, he did not. He personally did not make any threats on my life or his associates. What, uh, all I know that a number of individuals made threats on my life. I have those recorded. Uh, um, I have, uh, uh, you know, recorded both uh, in audio recordings, uh, emails, um, comments on my website. So it's all well documented. I have affidavits. I have all the information that was tampering with my car. I'm not stating that it was done by Barack Obama himself. As a matter of fact, I'm sure it, it no, was I'm not sure done it wasn't by him personally. personally. Yeah. There were, there were a number of individuals that did it, and I went to law enforcement 
all over the nation. I demanded investigation. Okay. I have a family. I have three children. And as of yet, no investigation was done. And that's why I went to United Nations uh, to the uh, civil rights defenders. I've got it. So uh, the, I, I follow. So the answer is not Barack Obama personally, but you, you believe it may have been his associates acting for him. Uh, well, I follow. Some, I, all I'm saying, some individuals uh, have made multiple death threats. There was tampering with my car. There was tampering with my PayPal account. There was uh, vandalism of my uh, website, uh, vandalism of my car. They, uh, Got it. And those those just need to be investigated. Uh, you know, listen, Orly, just we're just like during we're, Watergate. They yeah, do. We're just, just have, we're just out yeah. of time. I, I was hoping okay. to get yes or no's, but we got two or three minute answers. Last thing, you know, I, I think it's interesting what you're doing. I think, I think uh, you're wrong, but I, I would suggest to you, a little bit of the time looking for Barack Obama's uh, birth certificate. Let's uncover Sarah Palin's high school diploma or Glenn Beck's rehab discharge form. I think that would be a good use of time, I'll be honest. Well, you know what, let's do one thing at a time. But the thing is, <laughs> regardless, uh, if, uh, and you know what, I'm not, you know, uh, trust me, I, I have uh, gotten requests of investigation of a lot of things. Uh, and and again, it is not political. No. Uh, and uh, you know, I, I'm not a fan of Glenn Beck. Uh, if you've seen, I've uh, I've written a number of articles where I disagreed with Glenn Beck uh, vehemently on a number of issues. Uh, as a matter of fact, it was written. Well, here, Orly Tate is attacking. Uh, uh, Barack Obama and uh, John McCain and Glenn Beck. Well, Orly, uh, uh, I'll tell you, you have said it all. Unfortunately, we've gone way over. I thank you for calling in today, and we are just completely out of time. Um, Orly Tate, it's incredible. I, I really hope that we're able to find that birth certificate, Lewis, because I, as much as anyone else, wants to know where it is.